Hopefully we don't rip any trees out of the ground. Look at that. I've got to reverse back onto that roundabout. <laughs> The lights at the back are looking good. Today, we got a busy one. We got a few drops today. And we also have a first time new pass HGV driver on our hands. Say hi, Ben. That took longer than it needed to do. Hi. 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 you. Are you looking forward to a good day? Yeah, I know right. I'm yeah. looking forward to being a passenger. Okay? <laughs> yeah. That's right. I know. I've been in this place before, so I know where it is. Nice. So. Well, have fun. Yeah. And I'll see you later. You have fun. Thanks, Zach. Yeah. There's my baby. She's lit up. And I'm getting some new one of these. Anyway, yeah, Ben passes HGV. Ugh. A couple of weeks ago, he's a new pass driver. Moran spanking new. And on Friday last week, he finished his uh, last part of his CPC as module four. So yeah, he's out with uh, he's out driving with Zach today, and he was out driving with Zach yesterday. He's getting some good old practice in. He's going to be with us for a couple of weeks before he goes out on his own. But yeah, we got another driver. Yeah, like I said, we've got quite a busy day today, actually. Um, a good day, but a busy one. Four drops in total today, so I hope you really, really enjoy the video. Um, and uh, well, I suppose we're just going to crack on with it, aren't we? Let's get the bloody hell out of here. Now, I've kind of prefabricated a, a mount here. All right. It's probably going to be... It's probably going to be wobbly as hell, and I won't find that out until I watch the footage back later or this weekend. I want a view like this. <laughs> okay, it gives more of a perspective in terms of the windscreen. Blah 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 blah. Let me know if you like it. Um, I shall basically just see how it goes. If you like the view, then I might keep it like that. But if you don't like the view, I'll switch it back to the original. Anyway, good morning everyone. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is James, I hope everyone is well. Uh, I'm a Devonshire driver. That's the most basic way I can put it. And like I've already said beforehand, we have got a busy-ish day. All right, all right, I'm not gonna say it's busy. We got a lot to do, but it should be a good day. It should definitely be a good day overall. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping to see Mimet Trucker Life GV on the road. He's in the area I'm in today, and he's gonna be in that area at roughly the same time I will be. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for him. But yeah, everybody, Ben is a new pass HGV driver. I know I've already said it, but yeah, he's on the road today for the second time driving. And I hope you have a good day, Benjamin. Eventually he'll be out of me. I'm not sure when he will be, but we'll see when that happens. Today is Thursday day. Please let me out, Van. Please let me out, please let me out. Thank you, Van. Thank you very much. No, it's Wednesday today. Damn it. I thought it was Thursday. Ah, that's a shame. And thank you everyone again, as per usual, for all of your support. I can't believe we hit over 5,000 subscribers. I never thought I'd reach a thousand, let alone bloody 5,000, so thank you ever so much. We're already pretty close to 6,000 followers, so guys, thank you very much. And make sure you go and like my Instagram. I upload on there on a daily-ish basis, so if you wanna see what I'm up to instead of waiting all week for a video, please go and um, follow my Instagram and as well Facebook and TikTok and all that jazz. It's all trucking. Right, well, 
they've closed one of the main routes to where I needed to go for my delivery and that's a main A road that takes you basically to Tavistock. So it's busy. Um, I'm now diverting round and obviously they've closed a major uh, an A road route and now this is all blocked. <laughs> so, oh, what a day. I don't know what this Corsa driver's doing. I'm not gonna overtake you, mate. Do you know what I'm saying? But I'm not being funny, Corsa. If I wanted to, I could most certainly push you out of the way. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're gonna be about 15 minutes late to our delivery. But I've rang the customer and he said, mate, just get it when you get it, don't stress. I'm not stressing, but I just, I don't like being late when I've told the customer a time already, you know? Right, we are in the right place. I thought we weren't for a sec, um, but we are in the right place. Now, <laughs> this gets snug down here. Apparently, it might actually be better for me to go out the other way instead of the way I've come. Apparently, this is the worst of it, so. But this is the only no. This is the only way I know how to get in here. So, <sighs> yeah, I've been here before in a 26 tonner. It was tight. I'm here today in a 32 tonner. It's going to be tight. But at the end of the day, just got to take it really slow and easy. Hopefully we don't rip any trees out of the ground. Or lampposts out of the ground. Yeah, we should be all right. We should be all right. At the end of the day, this is what you've got to deal with because apparently everywhere nowadays is suitable for a truck when it's most certainly bloody not. At the end of the day, I don't want to bring my truck down here, but the customers have ordered Thou we shall deliver. <laughs> I have been down tight places, so to be fair. I have been down very, very narrow places in my time. Right, just on that delivery, couldn't record it. The guys were here. We just wanted to get the stuff off the truck, you know what I mean? But we are done. And it's tight getting in here, and it's gonna be very tight getting out, so. Oh my god, that was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. You're a f***ing driver mate, that's fine. <laughs> right, I'll see you soon. Yeah, right? see you later. Do you want to go in front? I'll go. go in front, yeah? yeah. Cheers, buddy. Because you're a driver mate, that's why. <laughs> that's very true. That is very true, I am a driver. Right, as you can see, the lane, obviously we come down this way, so we know we're going to be all right anyway. I wonder how Ben is doing. There was a kid just looking at me thinking, what the hell are you doing down here, bitch? <laughs> His dad looked at me like, what? Oh, yeah, I'm not too bad. How are you doing? Where Nico is? Yeah, yeah, he'll fit his mate now, yeah? All right, he's eight. And just like that, that drop was very simple. But I do like driving along this bit. I don't know if you can see it out of the windscreen. Again, I'm testing this view out for today. Um, we'll find out as to whether it stays like that, but you've got that river over there and it's just really nice to drive next to, it, especially in the summer. I was in Plymouth yesterday and yeah, it was really, really nice. Sky was blue, the water looked awesome. And yeah, it was just a really nice, like to, to, just to drive right next to it for a bit, it was really nice. Also, something I wanted to mention, if you're not following me on Instagram, at James, by the way, you would know I got to drive the Bristol Depot's DAF back from Bristol the other day. Now, lovely truck, don't get me wrong, but this is how it went anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong, lovely truck, easy to drive, not a big fan of the gearbox. I kind of like this on the window, sort of that, that black edge goes around the wing mirror. Quite, quite handy, I suppose. And I like this, I need one of these in my truck. Comfy, nice steering wheel, nice layout. This is a 66 plate DAF, so it's obviously not the newest, but 
yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I just thought I'd show you because I never get the chance to drive this truck. This one's one of our Bristol lorries. So, yeah. Back to future dreams. But yeah, like I said, this is the truck I drive. Like, so I class this as my truck. Uh, I love this truck. But, don't get me wrong, if they turn around and said, now I don't know if I'm gonna regret this decision by posting this online so my boss can see it. If they ever said to me, James, we're, we're, we're gonna update, update the trucks and we're gonna get a DAF. Uh, no, you're gonna have that DAF, that specific DAF. Then I won't, I won't be salty about it. it. It was a lovely drive. On the flat, it's gorgeous to drive. On the uphill, it didn't want to go. Uh, the only issue is with DAFs, as everybody knows it. Well, this is the sound, isn't it? You know. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with this truck, but like I said. Yeah, that was a that was a good that was a nice it was nice to drive that truck um, for the afternoon and, and don't get me wrong it looks gorgeous and it makes awesome photos but um, yeah so I got to drive a daff I was a daffer for a day there's a Gregory's lorry there there he is <laughs> and I got you in the video. <laughs> wet out today just started raining right that was nice and easy but there's a truck up here and I want to show you it is gorgeous here she is look at that Joe Sharp International Spedition that is a lovely wagon Assassin's Creed on the side on the back that is gorgeous. Gorgeous truck, but I need to get back to my truck because it is in the down with rain. Oh. Oh. Lovely. I've also just fixed the uh, ISO and brightness and everything on that camera, so hopefully that looks better. I'm pretty happy with that view. I just don't know how it's going to be wobbling uh, when I when I when I edit the clips, but we'll see. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, there's that Scania. Yeah. Gorgeous, what a truck. Yeah. I do have a tag, but it, I don't think it's ready. Okay, buddy. Right, on the stretch to home. Well, my second home, aka the yard. It is that time of the day when I arrive back to the yard. And it is raining. God help me. Just gonna get some fuel. So whilst I fuel up, I'm gonna get my bits together. We're gonna load up for tomorrow and yeah. But today's been a good day. Hopefully the camera angle looks all right. I'll look back at it in a bit. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna go and I'll see ya when I see ya. Another day, another dollar. There's Ben and Zachara walking down to their truck -uras. Yeah, we're ready to go really. We just gotta do our checks and then go and have something added to the truck and then we're off out of here. Right, we are off and running. We've got three deliveries to do and a collection this afternoon. Not sure what how much I'm gonna get off the collection in terms of recording wise. Uh, it's in a very, in, in a sense, it's in a very dangerous place because um, basically you've got park on a path and <clears throat> park on a path 
block the entire walkway, crane over a wall, and over back over the wall, back over the public footpath onto my truck. It's a, it's a dangerous job. It's a dangerous job. Not for the faint-hearted, okay? It's not for the faint-hearted. So yeah, but the three drops in between that, uh, before that, sorry, our first one is actually the first one we went to yesterday. They've ordered a couple of more bits, so we're gonna go and deliver them. Uh, so a nice, nice tight delivery, but we've been in my truck now, so, you know, we've been in my truck, so we know we're gonna be all right. I just wanna give a quick shout out to Rod, uh, thank you very much, buddy, for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Your son, Ash, uh, mentioned, uh, gave me a message on Instagram and said that you watch uh, my videos. And then he came home the other day and you were watching my videos. So, <laughs> cheers for the support, buddy. And I hope you enjoy um, all the future content that comes out. We go again like I said same place as yesterday morning so it does get very snug down here and it's very foggy out today so I'm hoping it doesn't rain well because obviously I don't want to get wet and just because I've done this drop before doesn't mean I'll bomb it down here I will take my time driving there slowly get out slowly too starts to get a bit nearby. I just feel bad for the wing mirror covers really. Oh. And their Christmas lights because I'm, I'm scraping them. Why do you still with your Christmas lights? Up? because simple <laughs> I've just done my second delivery so obviously recorded the first one we don't record in the second one full stop so I've just done the second one got that out of the way we are now heading off down the road gonna be there in 20 minutes uh, so we're gonna go and do our third delivery and then we're gonna go and do our fourth delivery and then we're gonna go and crack on with our collection. Based on the like, you know, the title of this video, I feel like a multi-drop delivery driver for yesterday and today. We're very much used to big full-size loads for like one customer. Um, now that obviously wouldn't be my day's work, but um, you know, and we'd probably do two, maybe three of them in the day, depending on where they're based. Uh, sometimes even one because there'd be one full load being delivered to a customer that's two and a half to three hours away and that is a day's work so yeah based on like the delivery side of things but we're at the moment we're just doing full full size loads we're doing multiple drops a day at the moment so I feel I definitely feel like a multi-drop driving I you I, I used to do multi-drop driving now, obviously, multi-drop, literal multi-drop drops, jobs, I can't talk. Uh, you have a lot more drops, you don't have four drops. Look at this guy tipping on the side of the road. Nice. Don't know what company he was for, but cool. Now, this bridge I'm about to come over, it's funny, actually. You never used to come over it. You never used to be able to come over it. Coming that way, you could. But this left hand side used to be seven and a half ton weight limit. But they've completely redone this part and now it's not a seven and a half ton weight limit. It's not weight limited at all, which is great because you, when you used to come back, you, have to, you used to have to turn right through the industrial state on my right there. You have to go all the way through, come out, and then come back out on the main road and then try and turn around on a very tiny little mount roundabout turn around which is an absolute nightmare to do and then 
come back on yourself and then you'd come across the road which you can't see because it's Bin Lorry's blocking the view. Thanks Bin Lorry. But yeah, that's that's what you had, used to have to do. It used to actually be a real pain because, well, it's just annoying. That, that's that, really. We are at delivery number three. Right, just leaving my last delivery and I've got a collection literally up the road. So yeah, good drops, four decent drops, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh yeah, I shouldn't do that again. Uh, but like I said, literally a collection up here. So we are probably about 30 seconds from it now. Well, it's gonna take us a good minute with traffic, you know. Yeah, this one's, like I said, this one's quite awkward. It's like you have to park up on the curb. Yeah. Well, he's, on his, he's on his way to now, all right, mate? Legend, thank you very much for that, boss. Yeah, he just said, I'm glad you called else there would have been no one there, so I'm glad I called as well. Uh, someone's popping over, it'll be in about five or 10 minutes. I can sort of just get my stuff together and, and start getting ready. And um, this should be relatively simple. So just arrived onto our uh, collection area. I'll show you. I am on a pathway on a pathway and when I leave here I've got to reverse back onto that roundabout <laughs> getting in here is fine getting out is the most awkward part because I've got to reverse onto a a very busy roundabout in uh, in the city centre <clears throat> but somebody is on their way to help me like I said so in terms of well, he can watch me out onto the roundabout, basically. So we're just going to, whilst we wait for the guy, we're going to unstrap the stillages I've got on board to put the stuff into. And then we're going to get the crane out and block off the area. And unfortunately, people are going to have to walk around the truck to get around here. But there's nothing I can do about that. So this is the area I'll block off. So I'll cone it off right from the back of the lorry and then I will block it off over here as well. But people still try and walk through. It's really, really irritating. But it's the name of the game, baby. You just gotta get on with it. I'll put this one here on the road just so people can see it. So yeah, I've got some tape going across there, block people coming in, and some cones over there. There we are, all loaded up, all ready to go. Now I've got to reverse onto this roundabout. Ra reverse out onto this mean round a bit. Guys, block of the roundabout for me. a little toot toot before we go and we're off right that collection was good and uh, we just got to get back to the yard now and tip it all so happy what it is it's been a good day it has been a good day so we are just down the road from the yard today has been a very very good day uh, like I said my boss rang me, so I had to answer that call as well. When, uh, but yeah, today and the last two days has been very, very good, very, uh, very interesting. Like I said, with the whole multi-drop stuff and reversing onto that roundabout is always very, very dodgy. But yeah, it's been good, uh, guys. I'm going to end the video there. Oh, who's this coming past me? No, I thought that was. That was my mate Skip dude, but I realise that he drives a smaller one than that. It's been a very, very good last couple of days. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to end the vlog there though. If you want to go and see what I do on a daily-ish basis, feel free to go and follow me on Instagramio. I upload on there on a daily-ish basis. If you want to go and see what I'm doing, then I deal. 
thank you very much everybody we hit 6,000 subscribers last night so again thank you everyone for your support it's been really really overwhelming in a sense that this many people watch my videos <laughs> so cheers but yeah that's gonna be it for me guys i should be back in the yard for about 10, 10 past two but that is it from me guys thank you ever so much for watching i've been trucking with james you've been awesome i don't know why am i even right anyway thanks very much for watching ciao ciao for now